Uh, the essential question, can we turn likes into customers? Can we actually achieve business objectives using Facebook and other social networks? And I hope to answer that for you guys in the next hour or so, a little bit less than an hour. So let's jump in. As Mike mentioned, this is my um, Twitter handle, at Dave Kirpin. You can tweet me questions anytime, um, now or later. Uh, I sleep from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. every night, but I am available via Twitter uh, 20 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also ask me questions, ask my staff questions at Likeable Media, and you can ask my book team questions at Likeable Book. A few quick warnings about social media. I think many of you know this already, but I like to put this out front just in case. Number one, social media is not free. In fact, it can be very expensive. Why? Because social media takes a lot of time. Your time, your staff's time, your agency's time, your intern's time. If you're going to do social media right as a business, it does take a lot of time. And with that, of course, is associated costs as well as great software providers like my friends at Awareness. Number two, social media does not bring about instant results. Um, there are some cases, certainly, in uh, mobile social media, things like Foursquare, where, where you can have instant results. I'm actually really excited that we've been um, doing a Foursquare promotion for the book uh, that has had instant results. But in most cases, when we talk about building a community on Facebook or Twitter, we're not going to have immediate business results. Um, but of course, over time, if you do it right, you will have not only results, but you'll have super strong, powerful results over time. And number three, social media can't make up for a bad product or service. In fact, social media makes a bad product or service worse because um, uh, more people are talking about the, 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 the bad product or service or the problem. So if you have a company that, does, that has a big challenge, before you really get involved in social media, I'm actually going to tell you, don't get involved in social media yet. Fix the problem first. Fix the whatever's wrong with the product or service, and then get into social media. Sorry. She saw in the video my core belief that like is the new link. Um, I, I believe that Google organized the web of the last 10 years, and they did an amazing job at doing that. They organized the web around information and around links. When you wanted something, you could search for it and find it. If you were a business then, you'd want to be there when people were looking for what you've got. So how could you get there? You could buy Google AdWords, you could do you know, the paid way, or you could have a great search engine optimization strategy so that you were coming up in natural search results. Well, right now, here in 2011, Facebook is well on its way to reorganizing the web around likes and the social graph. They've connected over 600 million people, and they're still adding users at nearly 1 million per day marching quickly towards a billion users that, more important, are connected through their Facebook friendships. And now, if I did want that dentist, I wouldn't go to Google because I wouldn't want to find a dentist that was spending money on Google AdWords or an SEO optimization guy. I would want to find a dentist that my own friends like and recommend. And I, I, it won't be long until you are looking not only for a dentist, but a lawyer or an accountant or a stroller for your, for, for your, uh, for your toddler or um, a, a, a great uh, macaroni and the best macaroni and cheese on the market or um, Mets tickets. Whatever it is you're searching for, you're going to be guided by your own friends, likes, and recommendations. Therefore, if you're a business, if you're an organization, Instead of optimizing for search, we've got to optimize for likability and for likes um, and for what I would call social search. This next slide is a favorite of mine from Brandcamp. 
Um, it's uh, a slide of the Lug Nuts Company. And, uh, of course, they've put up a Facebook page because everyone needs a Facebook page now. And, um, you know, the senior exec is, um, is, 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 you know, going through the deck and says, I don't know what's wrong. We posted our brand of Lug Nuts to every social media site, and no one's talking about us. And uh, the next person says, oh, must be a technical error. And then, and then we do have five fans. Uh, that's the five of us. Ask for a refund. This is going on in many, in many places. And the, the, the good news is that there's a major opportunity here because so many companies are doing the lug nuts thing out there. In, instead of talking about lug nuts, if you can be the folks that talk about the stuff that the lug nuts fans want to talk about, fixing cars, um, um, favorite cars, um, stories about uh, experiences in, you know, as a mechanic, um, whatever it is that your fans want to talk about, that's the way to win on the social web um, rather than, of course, the push broadcast mechanism.